Now I'll show how I undercoat the leaves. A lot of times I undercoat, sometimes I don't. It just makes them more opaque. Um, I'm using a number 12 Laura Low Cornell Flat Shader 7300 series and Americana Celery Green paint. And then I just make a scallop leaf. I just follow the outline. It doesn't have to fit perfectly within it. The outline is um, just a guideline. And then I do these others. Now this leaf, since it's going to go over that rose, um, the actual leaf will get painted after I paint that rose. But I undercoat it now. And then hopefully you can see these over here. But I'm not real precise because I am going to go over them. And if it's easier for you to paint, you can turn your board completely over. Sometimes it's easier to go a certain direction. Sometimes I paint in some little vines. I'll put some small leaves in or something like that with a smaller brush. Sometimes a filbert because it makes a rounded end leaf when you get one. These leaves, I should. A lot of times I double load two colors. I'm just demoing this right now so I don't have two colors on here. I can always go over it if I want to. And there, make the little leaves. Now I'll show you how I do um, the bigger leaves. I'm going to use a number 10 flat brush. This is this one's a plaid. I haven't. This is a new brush, so we'll see how it works on here. I'm using Decolade Americana. The dark is evergreen. The light is celery green for contrast. And then you kind of touch, I kind of get it in there, wiggle, press down so it flattens the brush and then let it spring back up to the tip. And then I don't flip the brush over, I keep the dark against the light. That'll make the um, seam of the leaf. And you see I keep it up against that and and kind of make sure you don't get two tips. Sometimes I have a tendency to get two tips, but I try not to. Let me move the camera over to the other two leaves. And well will show you how I do those. That one, oh, I forgot. I'll do that one after I paint the rose, so I'll just do the underleaf first and you can start on either side. I'll start on the underside this time. Every time I go, hopefully I'm not getting the palette in the way again. The leaf I'm getting more, working more paint into the brush. Um, so there's two and then I'll do this Last one down here. Let me focus over there. Now, many times I turn, well, maybe I will turn it. Well, no, I'll just do it backwards, see if I can do it. For me, it's easier to turn my piece. So maybe I will. Sorry about that. And then go upwards. I got a little bit of a dry edge over here, so I can go over it if I want. And come back and do this 
this one. You can also add little small leaves with the brush. Kind of go at the tip. And there's the leaves. Now the leaves that overlap the roses, I'll do those after I do the roses. Now I'm going to show you how I take um, one of the scallop leaves up over a rose. It's pretty simple. You probably wouldn't take too much to figure it out, but I just finish up the scallop and bring it right up over the rose. Even if the paint of the rose is a little bit wet, that doesn't matter. It's kind of nice to get the pink kind of mixed into the green. So mine are mostly dry. I'll show you on this other one. Let me get it into the camera for you. And get my full of paint. And I make sure I don't go over this rose, but start back there and bring it up. I reload the paint. Again, this is evergreen and celery of Deco Art Americana. And there you have where the leaf comes up over the rose. And it kind of makes the rose look like it's sitting back in there. So that's just about it. Okay.